Our next thing we're going to look at is called activity-based costing or ABC methods. And what we do when we call it activity-based because the activities could be any types of different actions or something involved in the manufacturing. So under uh, activity-based things, things we, we have things, uh, activity cost pools, okay? So here's a, a term, activity cost pools. These are the different types of things, mach machine usage, inspections, moving, production setups, or even engineering activities, okay? But when we did multiple production departments, we usually only had two. Here, we're going to have multiple ones. So we're just going to expand on what we've already done. So here was our example of our multiple production. Here's our activity-based costing. And each one of these will be a single activity, and each item will take X amount of things to produce it. So here we have, here are my activities. Fabrication and assembly, where well, we already heard about those, but we also have setup. Because every time I change from one product to another, I have to set up all my machines to run that. I have something called quality control. Because I have to make sure that somebody has to inspect the products coming off the assembly line to make sure they're accurate. And then finally, I have something called engineering changes. It's also known as ECO. Because sometimes I might actually have to tweak a process and I'll have to make an actual change. So these are the different activities. So we're going to do the same concept here. We're going to take the activity. We're going to take the total dollar amount. We're going to find a rate for each activity and then apply that rate to each product. Okay. So here are my budgeted cost. Remember, I'm still at 1.6 million, but now I have it broken down to a, a budgeted overhead for each activity, okay? So budgeted overhead for each activity. And here are the activities that are going to be required. So to make a snowmobile, remember, I'm making a 1,000 units of each. We already talked about our machine hours for fabrication and assembly. So we're going to look at 100 setups. Uh, QC, which is quality control, is 100 inspections because we only do 10% of the 1,000 units. And 12 ECOs or change orders. The riding mowers are going to take 20 setups and only 4 inspections because we only inspect 0.4% and 4 change orders. And if you remember, each of the items had direct labor hours of 10,000 hours. So this was the information we had before for the uh, fabrication department when we did multiple production departments. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do, this is more a math problem, guys, okay? So you're going to total for both products or all products, you're going to total the total of all the activities base usage. So for fabrication, we're looking at 10,000 direct labor hours, DLH. Assembly, we're looking at 10,000 direct labor hours. And remember, we got this information at the last video. My setups are 120 setups. QC is 104 inspections and 16 ECOs. So we're going to take these numbers and plug them into that same formula of the budgeted activity cost for each activity divided by the total activity base usage. So those numbers I just did, these numbers right here are what's going down here. And we were given this information a little while ago. So fabrication is now $53 per direct labor hour. Assembly is $7 per direct labor hour. Oops. Uh, setups are $4,000 per setup. QC is $3,000 per inspection. And ECO is $13,000 per each change order. So now that we have activity rates, we're going to apply them. So I have two products. I have my snowmobiles, my riding mowers, and here are my activities. And so my snowmobile takes this information times my rate, and I'm going to multiply it across, so add it up. So you're taking your one product first, your activity-based usage for just that product, times the rate you calculated 
equals these numbers, and then you add them up and you divide by the number of units you're going to produce to find cost per unit. Because I'm always looking for cost per unit on this one. On this video, I'm going to go over my five minutes because I want to explain this. So over here is riding mower. The same thing here is my activity activities times my um, rates. Add it up, divide by a thousand. Okay. This is what most of your homework is going to look like on that chart right there. So here's kind of how things break down. Now, if you look, my snowmobiles is 1294 of factory overhead, and this is 306. Well, let's compare it. Here's where we were before: single rate multiple productions and activity base okay so the problem is you need to know obviously this is easy but it's not as accurate as this one right here okay and so product cost distortion I don't test on this guys but I just want you to take a chance to read over this to understand product cost distortion and that's the end of the video for activity based costing